Hi and welcome back to the Twine Beginner Tutorials. So in this video I'm going to show you how to begin creating your first story and how to create passages. So just have one untitled passage. So you can drag your passages wherever you want on this page. So another thing you can do to help kind of maybe tidy up your passages, go down to the bottom left hand corner and click on story one and then there will be an option called snap to grid which is true to the name and just snaps into place quite easily so it can just help you when you're trying to be quick and make things look tidy so now we're going to create your very first passage so when you hover your mouse over your first untitled passage you get a small menu of different options that you can use so you're going to click the pen icon which will bring you into editing and content for that passage so you're going to get text already in this box so you just delete the text so just and then you just type what you'd like the opening of your story to be so for now i'm just going to type hello welcome to this story and then up the top is just the name of the passage so i'm just going to get rid of the untitled and type in beginning so the beginning page now is page one of our story and obviously we would like our story to continue on to the next page for each page if you want to go on to another passage you basically create a button that comes up on the first page when clicked will link you to the next page and type in the first option so so say if i want the button on my first page to be continue so i'm going to type in continue and then i'm going to x out of that so now I'm back here and I can see the content. So to see what this looks like as your story, you're gonna come down to the bottom right hand side of the page and press play. So that's loading now. So there you are, it's just a black page with white simple font. And when you hover your mouse over continue, nothing happens. So clearly we didn't manage to make a button when we wrote it continue so I'm gonna exit out of that page and I'm gonna double click the first passage to get back to edit this so when you want to create a button the code that you have to use is two squared brackets on either side of the button so the text of the button sorry I mean so you do two square on the first side and two square on the second side and then they should come up blue and let's see what it looks like now I'm gonna exit out and then there it is so you can see the second passage and you can see the link from the first passage to the second passage and then you can move that wherever you want you can, when i go and press play this time continue is blue and it gives you the option to click it and when you click it it brings you to another page obviously the other page is empty right now but once we fill that in that's the continue page so i'm just gonna show you another one i'm gonna click on continue and I'm just gonna write keep going question mark as the content and then for the button I'm going to just say keep going so that's three passages then all linked up together and you can order them in whichever way you want so now when I press play beginning Hello, welcome to this story, continue, and then keep going, yes. Okay, so now exit out of that, and I'm gonna line them up horizontally, and I'm gonna fill out the keep going passage. So in this one, I'm gonna show you how to make multiple passages, so a multiple choice for people reading your story. So I'm gonna click into keep going, and then I'm just gonna type, do you want to continue to the fourth page and then question mark and then I'm gonna do two options so make sure you do the square brackets either side two of them yes and then the same with the no two brackets no and the two brackets and you can see those brackets are blue it's also indication to show that th those choices are working and now when you exit out of that you can see that there's now two passages linked up to the keep going passage so the yes and the no passage are both linked up so that's the multiple choice they're showing and then when you press play 
and go through continue and then you can see it here so you get the two options and then depending on what your story is you can you can make it into a game and have different outcomes and different options different stories for people to explore so when you're adding in choices you can actually add in as many as you want if you keep watching the series to find out more about twine more about how you can create your first interactive story how you'll be able to add images music and change your text format style exactly how you like thank you